Residents in parts of northwestern Wisconsin are being told to evacuate because of a fast moving wildfire. These pictures were sent to us by the Wisconsin DNR. 50 structures have been destroyed, but no injuries have been reported. The state DNR says the fires burned 6,800 acres. A perimeter has been established, but officials say the fire is not considered contained. Doug Higgins is here with more on the fire. Hi, Doug. Hi there, Pete. Yeah, impressive photos, that is for sure. It, kind of interesting that two weeks ago, not even two weeks ago, there was record snowfall in northwestern Wisconsin, and now they're dealing with fire. <laughs> That's the big problem. Douglas County right here in the uh, actual location of that uh, German Road fire is in the southeastern section of that county. And wind wise, this is going to be the uh, interesting part. So far, a majority of the wind has been blowing out of the southwest, keeping a majority of the smoke near Ironwood, Michigan and then up towards the Keweenaw. But it looks like as we work our way through the day, we're going to see a better chance for some of that low level smoke to creep into areas of the north woods as long as that fire stays uncontained. Uh, by 12 o'clock, more of the same, and the, and the firefighters there who are going to be uh, battling those blazes, uh, dealing with stronger winds. We're talking easily 10 to 25 miles per hour, so they're going to have uh, their hands full today and even into tonight. Now, by tonight, the wind's a little bit more westerly, so it looks like we could see a little bit of smoke possibly making its way into Florence and Florence counties, maybe northern Marinette for the rest of us, maybe some high-level haze from this. But that is about all the effects. Looks like with the weather, uh, expect to get a little wetter on Friday. They have better conditions for fighting those wildfires. Stay with us. More to come here on Good Day Wisconsin. We'll be right back.